Most expensive things you can buy online. Hey everyone, it's Alexa and welcome back to another video. The internet connects the world, meaning you can post anything and read everything you want. This freedom also extends to the items you can sell or buy online. What are some of the most expensive things you can purchase on the World Wide Web? Keep watching to find out. But before we get into today's video, make sure that you're subscribed and ring the bell so that you never miss any of our upcoming videos. For the seas. For those of us who aren't that well-versed in nautical terms, a yacht is described as a medium-sized sailboat used for cruising or racing. Depending on the brand and features, boats can cost $5,000, more or less. If you look on eBay, you might find a few that cost closer to $100,000. The kinds that billionaires and celebrities own, like Lady Mora, sold for $210 million, while the MS Eclipse is priced at $500 million. However, those purchases usually don't happen online. Big yachts, known as Giga Yachts, sell for around $160 million on eBay. Just be ready to put down that $80 million deposit first. More hair for everyone. There are many reasons people opt to wear wigs and hair extensions instead of showing off their natural hair. Some of us don't want to go through the trouble of bleaching and hair dye or the months it takes to grow your hair out. Others might not want the commitment of short hair and instead want a wig with a bob. The reason more people don't use weaves more often is because doing so is really expensive. Good quality extensions applied by a professional mean you're taking at least $200 to $2,000 out of your pocket. Multiple online hair stores list their products from $40 and up. Occasionally, you'll find $300 to $1,000 priced hair pieces. A lot of WD-40. If you don't work a lot with furniture or you're not a handy person, then you probably have never used or even heard of WD-40. The letters WD stand for water displacement. When applied to furniture or parts of a house, the oil remains on the surface and helps lubricate and protect objects from moisture. It's useful if you want to get rid of squeaky doors. On a list about expensive online purchases, you may not have thought this one would show up, but you can buy a bunch of spray bottles or even a whole drum of WD-40 for $1,000 on Amazon. Here comes the receipt. You can always buy an engagement ring in the store, but you'll find a wider variety online. The most expensive engagement rings made from the most valuable materials can run anywhere from $7,000 to over $300,000. Some may even cost you or your future spouse millions of dollars. A legendary bat. Shoeless Joe, whose real name was Joseph Jefferson Jackson, was a star outfielder for Major League Baseball during the early 20th century. Shoeless Joe lived from 1887 to 1951 and is one of the most revered athletes of all time. Why wouldn't his baseball bat be considered extremely valuable? Baseball fan Charlie Ferguson crafted the bat from a hickory tree and gifted it to Jackson because Ferguson knew Jackson liked blackened bats. Jackson kept the bat until his death. When his wife died a few years later, the bat was bequeathed to their son, who then sold it on eBay 40 years later. In 2001, the bat, which he named Black Betsy, went on sale on eBay for $577,610. For something just slightly cheaper, you could surf Amazon and find vintage baseball cards that cost closer to $90,000. The Barry Bonds Home Run Ball Barry Bonds is a former professional baseball left fielder who played for the Pittsburgh Pirates and the San Francisco Giants. He has seven MVP awards and 14 all-star selections. Sports fans would say Bonds is one of the greatest baseball players of all time, so surprise, surprise, people value the baseballs he struck home runs with. How many home runs is that? Barry Bonds has a total of 762, the most in MLB history. Those sports balls go for a lot of money. His 755th home run ball sold for $186,000 at an auction, while his 756th baseball sold for $752,000. The Honus Card Okay, okay, this is the last baseball heirloom on the list, I promise. Last but not least, baseball cards. Authentic old baseball cards are memorabilia that are highly valued. One of the most famous cards is the Honus Wagner baseball card. Like Barry Bonds, Johannes Peter Honus Wagner played for the Pittsburgh Pirates. He just did it way earlier. Wagner played Major League Baseball from 1897 to 1917. Fans often refer to him affectionately as Honus, Hans, or the Flying Dutchman because of his German heritage. Wagner was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1936, one of the first five people to ever be inducted. His baseball cards sold on eBay in 2000 for $1.1 million, the most expensive baseball trading card in history. A Town or Two 
If there were more towns up for sale online, you know that people would be buying them left and right. Who wouldn't want to own a whole village? If you fancy owning one, maybe you should scour eBay because that is where Bobby Cave bought the town of Albert, Texas, located in Gillespie County. The small abandoned town was priced at $216,000 online. After about $500,000 worth of renovations, Cave sold Albert on eBay for $2.5 million. A similar thing happened for a place in California called Bridgeville, which was purchased on eBay for $1.77 million and only included 83 acres of land. Antique furniture. Some of you hear the word antique and think of fragile old things you'd find in your grandma's house. Grandma had the right idea. Antiques aren't just suitable for stuffy old rooms, they can earn you some money too. Furniture made of rosewood and carved in the traditional imperial style from China are highly valued. A whole rosewood living room set may sell for nearly $300,000 on Amazon. Search your family house or some antique stores for some deals. You never know how much something is worth. The Atlas F Silo. We go back to eBay for this one. In 2002, someone on the e-commerce website auctioned off a U.S. missile base in New York. That's right, some lucky buyer was able to purchase a whole missile base, a place designed to withstand something as catastrophic as a nuclear attack. The highest bidder owned the rights to the property for a mere $2.1 million. The base in question is the Atlas F Silo, located in the state of New York. Around the 1950s and 60s, the American government built several Atlas F nuclear missiles. The silo on the base measures 180 feet deep underground. You got the time? Now in 2019, it's rare to come across someone who doesn't have the time on their phone. It seems the only reason to wear watches or put clocks on the wall is for decorative purposes. You may think the clock or watch would be a dying item, but that just isn't true. People still pay a lot of money to see the time. Gilded clocks are often antiques and made with materials like silver and gold. Search on Amazon and you'll find antique gilded clocks for over $100,000. But let's move on to watches. You can find designer watches that cost over $2 million. Through the looking lens. With the rise of social media, more and more people want to post higher quality pictures and videos on their accounts. All those great pictures don't just appear out of thin air. People spend good money on expensive cameras, but more importantly, expensive lenses for their DSLRs. The highest quality lenses, no matter what type they are or how much they measure, may set you back at least $10,000. Telephoto lenses sold by brands like Sigma, Leica, or Canon range anywhere from 25,000 to over 200,000. The best modern art. You could always go to a Target or a home goods store and buy some of their generic art. They have it for less than $20. Other people prefer to buy original modern art pieces, the stuff you think you'd find in museum exhibits. The cheapest contemporary works may cost as little as $100 or as expensive as a few million. Original works by famous artists such as Rothko, Picasso, Warhol, or Lichtenstein are priced from $90 million to over $100 million. You could search on Amazon. You could find pieces starting from $50, though the most expensive of ones can reach 25 million. Ancient relics. Most of us would consider ancient relics invaluable objects, priceless even. You would commonly find objects like that in museums, heavily protected and well-preserved. It wouldn't be for sale on the internet, right? Well, apparently they are. Right now, anyone can go on eBay and search for antique vases that date back to the various dynasties of China's history. The lowest prices are around two to 300, while the more coveted vases cost thousands. One bronze vase from the Shang Dynasty sold for $3.3 million in an online auction. An Enzo Ferrari supercar. Ferrari developed the Enzo in 2002 and only produced 400 units. It's described as a supercar, meaning it has a really high performance, but is a street-legal sports car. Upon its release 17 years ago, Ferrari priced their supercar at $670,000. Since they stopped making Enzo cars in 2004, the 400 vehicles out there have doubled, even tripled in value. One sold online for $1 million. In 2014, another sold for $3 million. Life-sized Stormtrooper. Do you ever wish the Star Wars galaxy was real? If you want to shell out a few hundred to a few thousand dollars to make your dream more of a reality, you totally can. Walmart's online store sells them for $1,500, while Sideshow sells higher quality ones for nearly $8,000. Isn't that a little expensive for a Stormtrooper? Make sure you snag one quick because these things apparently sell like hotcakes and websites are often sold out or close to selling out. 
movies from the past. In general, movie posters aren't that expensive. Most cost a few bucks or are free if you score one on premiere day. Movie buffs may want something more original, though. Posters that date back years ago cost a little more. One poster for the 1932 horror film In the Old Dark House was sold for $750,000. A 1931 Dracula poster for the movie starring Bela Lugosi is selling for one and a half million on Amazon. Sky Travels We all know you can purchase flight tickets online, and those can come at a hefty price. You may also buy a whole airplane if you have the financial means. In the U.S., only 11,000 people own private jets. Typically, private jets belong to only the most wealthy celebrities and business people because most of these machines cost anywhere from 3 to $90 million. Even a used private jet will still be at least like a million dollars. One of the most expensive planes ever bought online was in 1999, when a Gulfstream 5 business jet was purchased for $40 million. We have one more to go, but first, we've got a question for you. What is one belonging of yours that is so special you would never sell it, not even for a million dollars? Let us know in the comments below. One, lunch with a billionaire. You know you're doing adulthood right when you go to a fancy lunch for a fancy business meeting. Eating across the table from Warren Buffett himself takes it to a whole new level. This business magnate and philanthropist works as Berkshire Hathaway's chairman. He's 88 years old and worth 84.6 billion and is willing to talk to anyone so long as you buy a lunch meeting with him. The prospect of that sounds weird, but knowing all the money you pay goes to charity makes it much better. Buffett puts his time up for auction, with bidders paying as much as 2.6 million to 3.5 million just to be able to sit down and ask him for advice.